Fish. I am the owner and founder of Melt Bar and Grill. We are here today with one of my awesome good friends and a huge collaborator with us on the artistic end of what we do at Melt Bar and Grill, my good buddy John G. He is a local artist here in Cleveland. A little background. Uh, John and I met in 2009, if you remember that day. I think it was uh, 2008. 2008. End of 2008. I feel corrected already. So John and I met, he was a fan of the restaurant. He was coming in um, fairly often and actually drew Melt Bar and Grilled, our first location in Lakewood, Ohio, as part of a best of episode for Scene Magazine, which is a local you know, weekly rag here in Cleveland, Ohio. And um, I thought it was cool because I, I saw the article in the best of uh, issue and I saw Melt's, it just popped up. I was turning the pages and there was Melt. And I was like, who's this John G character? And they're like, oh, he's a local artist. He comes in all the time. And I knew of John from the music world because he was drawing flyers and posters and band art for the Grog Shop and the Eco Tavern and the Beachland and all that kind of stuff. So John and I got together. Um, he approached me about doing a one poster for Melt. Yeah. Because you were doing what? It was the, the year, uh, the, the, the month, month of, of posters. The month of posters. So I, I tried to do a poster uh, every day for all of March 2019, or 20, 2009. And, um, and, and I've just been so busy doing posters for shows. And there were stretches of time where I was doing posters for something every day for a weekend and every day for a, uh, like three or four days in a row. And I was like, I think I could do a month. But my objective, because I was really feeling ambitious, uh, yeah, I, I wanted to re like you know branch out from punk bands. I remember because you were doing a theme it was kind of like a, a UFO theme with a carnival thing. Yeah, the was... UFO was part of the, the entire month, month. of posters. Yeah, it ended did. up influencing the rest of the posters. Okay. All we're and, here to uh, talk about this awesome book that we just collaborated on together. This is a John G book. However, Melt has a huge influence on it because it is Sandwich Anarchy, the cult culinary posters of Melt Bar and Grill, which is Melt Bar and Grill, John G. So we decided to get together with a local publisher here in Cleveland, 1984 um, publishing company, a good friend of ours, Matt Chinaki, owns yeah. the company. I think Matt approached John and said, John, why yeah. are these posters all yeah. for flying out there in the abyss, let's pull them all together and make a cool coffee table. That's the word he up. used, the abyss. the abyss. Get out of the abyss. The, he, um, yeah, we had sort of kicked this idea around a little bit here and there, but never you really... You and I have. Yeah, ne but never really uh, like got serious about yeah, it. For years, but John he, and I said, hey, yeah. wouldn't it be fun if we could put all the posters together in one kind of coffee table book? Who's going to do it? Who's going to help us do it? Yeah. Who's going to wrangle us in and help us pull these posters out of the abyss and like, and like put them all together? And then, fortunately for us, Matt Chinacki is a good friend of ours, yeah, and yeah. he's a great dude in Cleveland. He believes in Cleveland. Uh, the books he puts out have to do with somebody from Cleveland somehow, some way. So, yeah. I think it's cool watching the also the progression of the posters. If you look from like start from the first poster that we did together in 2000, yeah, that's this is the one right one, here. Yeah. This is the one right here, 2009. Actually, page six. Yeah, page yeah. six, 2009 of the John G. book, Sandwich Anarchy. Culinary posters of Mount Vernon Grill. I mean, looking at this, I mean, great, this is an awesome poster, but if you flip through it's all the way to the end, now they're not chronological yeah. order, but you can start seeing the progression of John's art, yeah, the creativity that he started putting into it, the detail work that's in every single poster, because John goes for it. Like, literally every month, I think John sets out to actually draw a better poster than he drew the month before. I do my best, yeah. What do you think was some of your favorite? Posters so my favorite in posters. this book. Um, well, or your best work. My best work. Wow, that's a good question. There, there, there's some relatively new ones that I that I love. Um, well, this one's one that. So this, uh, the Emperor's Ming Merciless Mongo Melt <laughs> was uh, for Flash Gordon played at the at the at the uh, the Capitol Theater, which <laughs> looks like it. I forgot to cross my team, but anyway. Um, but this is based There's on a lot the of cover. Typos you'll find yeah, yeah. Too. This is based on the cover of Raekwon, the chef's only built for Cuban Lynx Wu Tang Clan, like <laughs> record cover, and uh, and I was so proud of that that homage to that 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 record that I love getting to like because I don't know much about Flash Gordon. It's a pretty bonkers movie. It's it a good is movie. Awesome. It's one, one of my favorites. Twenty favorites, yeah. Um, but I was I, I loved being able to like pay homage to the Wu, 
This is one of my favorite ones. posters. This, this is actually hanging out on my wall yeah, in my yeah, office. People, people love this. This is the only, yeah, my office has a ton of stuff up in it, but the only John G representation, and this, really? one of the only John oh, man, G representations is, is the this Parmageddon poster. Yeah, that, that one, uh, homage to the, the punk rockers of, of Parma. Yeah, that one's a And the fact that if, you, if you're if you familiar enough with Parma, there's, you know, it, it's potentially a post-apocalyptic landscape that it has pink you flamingos can, yeah, and, and garden, garden gnomes, gnomes, and Parma may or may not be the center, the center of the universe. Yeah. So this is based on a famous painting, uh, The Visit of Venus to Vulcan by Francois Boucher. Or Boucher? I'm not sure. But anyway. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so this is a classical painting of, of Vulcan, who was a uh, a crippled god. who was this, like, he was born all, all crippled and, and has this whole backstory. But uh, he was an artisan god, so he made like things like um, Hermes's shoes, winged shoes, or oh, maybe okay. stuff like that, like Perseus's shield, I, I don't know. Nice. And then Venus was this goddess of love, maybe. Um, but anyway, this this is a, a, a more recent thing that I've been doing is is basing, doing like studies of classical paintings, or Renaissance paintings, and having, a, adding a sandwich. He's giving her a euro. And so, uh, is this Neptune in here? Well, no. This one is Apollo and one of the five muses. This was the first time I did this. Um, which uh, this painting is actually it's huge, it's like ten feet tall. It's in the it's in the Kling Museum of Art, and it's okay. part of a quadriptych maybe where there's five muses and then this is in the middle. The Star Wars ones are really cool. Yeah. Because every did, did this sandwich do well? The Obi Wan Cannoli. Because that's <laughs> no. the best name okay. for a sandwich ever. The Obi Wan Cannoli melt did not do very well. That's why we only ran it one year, one year only. Yeah. Well. So every May the Fourth is t is considered International Star Wars Day, May the Fourth. So we used to celebrate that at Melt, and yeah. we would create sandwiches based off of Star Wars themes. And then the last couple of years, when the new Star Wars movies had come out, two years ago we did a, a Star Wars weekend. In celebration of the new movie that was coming out. Yeah, yeah. So we have Obi Wan Kenobi, Kenobi melt, cannoli, Obi Wan yeah, cannoli, cannoli melt. Vader's uh, tie Vader's fighter. Tie fighter. It's a pad Thai sandwich. Pad Thai sandwich. We Delicious. did a um, a uh, Han Solo burger, which was a double burger, basically. Yeah, that's that that one. That was big and beautiful. I, think that's, I, I don't think that, I don't think made, think that one made the yeah, cut. So here's some more music theme ones. This is a Rocktober that we ran every October yeah. for a couple months or a couple years in a row. Where you have, you have Lemmy here playing. You've got some rock and roll panda. Well, that's based on Whitey, who identifies as a panda. True. Think, and it was his birthday month of Rock, the October. So or no, wait, yeah, October. Duh. And uh, Whitey was this young man that used to work at the Lincoln Mill. Yeah. So what else can we add, John? Anything so these are available again? all over town at all, every, every melt location. Every melt uh, location, these are yeah. for sale. Whether you're in Cleveland, Columbus, Dayton, Akron, Avon, Avon, Canton, they're available at all the stores. Um, select bookstores in the Greater Cleveland area in Columbus, yeah. independent comic shops, bookstores, comic shops. Um, Online at the meltbarngrill.com, you can buy the book. Um, you can go to uh, the publishing company. Yeah, 1984 Publishing. 1984 publishing. You can't, you can't miss it. You really can't miss it. It's for sale at all the stores. Yeah. I mean, it's a great gift for the holidays if you're a Melt fan. I mean, I'm not really trying to sell the book to anybody because I think if you're a Melt fan, it's, it's almost essential. Sandwich Anarchy, the culinary posters of yeah. Melt Barn the, Grill. The cult culinary posters. Cult culinary posters we of, coined that term. of Melt Barn Grill. It's trademark. Don't steal that from us, anybody out there. So, thanks, guys. See you guys soon. Thank you, Thank you John G. Again, love you, man, like a brother. Thanks.